Skoda's Ores range moves into the electric era with this. It's the Enyaq Coupe Ores, and it's got quite a punch. This has an 82 kilowatt hour battery, all wheel drive thanks to a dual motor setup with 220 kilowatt power output and 460 newton meters of torque. The top speed is increased to 180 kilometers an hour and it will accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.5 seconds. The performance doesn't stop there. Dynamically, it should be pretty good. It's lowered by 15 millimeters on the front 10 at the rear and rides on 20 inch wheels as standard with the option of 21 inch wheels to be fitted. As standard, it gets matrix LED headlights and all ORS versions will come equipped with Skoda's crystal face design. It does look quite different from the regular Enyaq when you see it in this side profile. The way that roof comes all the way down does look quite different. It really makes it stand out that little bit more. It's entirely different up until here. So from here, the B-pillar forward, it is the same design as the regular Enyaq. And with this ORS version, you've got painted sills here. You've got a black insert along the bottom. Having that painted helps bring the mass of the car down, makes it look like it's sitting a little bit lower. And then you've got these wheels as well, up to 21 inch wheels. These look huge. They look really well, it fills up the arches and these are aerodynamically optimized as well. So you have these covers on it, which are perforated. They look really cool, they look really nifty, but they do help the air flow more cleanly around the face of the wheel. Other features on the ORS include black window frames, black door mirrors, and you get this black insert on top of the wing with the ORS logo fitted into it as well. Now that roofline appears a little bit more dramatic thanks to this clean design across the rear of the car. The black panoramic glass roof extends all the way down to the tailgate. There's no wiper on this, but you can add a rear wiper if you need one. And there's also no big wings sticking out of it. It's a very clean shape and that in part helps the Enyaq Coupe's aerodynamic properties and slightly extends the overall driving range. In its most efficient form, which is the Enyaq Coupe 80, it will do 545 kilometers of range on a single charge. And even this ORS model will exceed 500 kilometers in WLTP conditions. Other details across the back include black lettering and the typical signature ORS reflector that extends all the way across the bumper. And this gloss black detailing that you see really contrasts against the Mamba Green, and this color is an exclusive to the Enya Coupe ORS. And even though this is quite a sloped boot, when you do open it, there's still 570 liters of boot capacity. That's only 15 liters less than what you get in the regular Enyaq. And when you tilt the rear seats down, that overall cargo capacity increases to 1,610 liters. So there's little in the way of compromise when it comes to the practical aspects of this ORS. Now rear passengers aren't gonna have that much to complain about sitting in here either. First of all, there's this huge panoramic glass roof and because it's a tinted glass panel, it means that there's no bulky blind system that eats into headroom. So it's a much cleaner design and there's no breaks in between. It's not divided into two different sections. And that means you've got this fantastic view all the way out. It's a little bit similar to what you'd see in a Tesla Model Y and it comes all the way back right up above your head. Speaking of headroom, well, I'm five foot nine and I have good couple of inches left there and I still have enough room that I can stretch out my legs my feet will fit underneath the seat in front and these sports seats have a little bit of color running through the back here as well there's blinds here so if you need to pop up for a little bit of extra privacy you can do that there's carbon fiber inserts running through the doors you've got electric rear windows pretty decent sized door bins in here as well you get a big enough drinks bottle in there you've also got an extra set of cup holders in here if you're not using the middle seat you can fold this down and pop your drinks in there there is also access to the boot via this ski hatch as well so if you do need to reach in and get something or load through longer items you can do 
You've got climate controls in the back, you've got two USB-C ports, and both of the outer seats are equipped with easily accessible Isofix points. The middle seat is also reasonably wide, so you can fit three adults in here. It's not that much of a squeeze. Three smaller people will easily get in here. And getting in and out, thanks to these wide doors, is pretty easy too. Now, the interior of the ORS does get some special treatment. There's gonna be two different interior designs. This is the standard setting, so it includes this suede of materials, like a really nice Alcantara-like microfiber material that extends onto the seats and also here on the dashboard. There's also unique green stitching here. Looks really cool and it's also reflected in the ORS logo because on the ENYAC ORS it gets a slightly different color. That badging also features on the bottom of this steering wheel. It's a three spoke design, unlike the two spoke on the standard ENYAC model. And it's perforated leather, has a really nice feel to it. There's also a good amount of adjustability. It's manually adjustable steering wheel, but you've got reach and rake. There's a huge amount of scope there. So it's very easy to find a driving position that's gonna work for you. There's a 5.3 inch digital instrument display in front of you and this incredible looking 13 inch display here this is a unique thing to the ENYAC you don't get this screen in the likes of the Audi Q4 e-tron or the Volkswagen ID4 or ID5 it's really nice it works really really well you then have some physical controls down the bottom here so this is for your climate controls parking assist different modes there's a small little selector here for your drive and you've got a electrically operated handbrake. There's also two wireless charging pads here, very easily accessible. So you can just take out your phone and just drop it in there and have it on charge. There's a good amount of space here. You've got two cup holders. You've got more space underneath here and right away under there, you have extra storage. So there's lots of practical elements to this car too. The augmented reality head up display is a really cool feature. We've seen it already in action in the ENYAC that we've tested before. So have a look at the video up here if you wanna see some more of that. And overall, there's a really nice kind of usual ORS treatment that we see here. The seats are quite supportive. This driver's seat is electrically adjustable. There's a good degree of adjustability there as well. And you've got this carbon fiber effect. It looks good. It's got a kind of nice satin sheen. It's not too in your face. There's a little bit of chrome detailing and you have some ambient lighting in there too. So that's our first look at the Skoda Enyaq Coupe RS. We'd love to know what you think. So tell us in the comments below what you think about this new electric SUV. In the meantime, don't forget to like the video if you've watched it this far and please do subscribe to the Complete Car YouTube channel. You can find out more by visiting our website on completecar.ie and you'll find us on all the usual social channels too. Thanks for watching.